Witch Rising. Witch Rising, Witch Rising, Witch Rising, Aquarius, and Collective. Um, woo, it is morning time. It is almost November. Hope everybody is excited. Um, we're officially in Scorpio season, and then it's going to be Sagittarius in a little bit. Um, I wanted to come on here just to give a brief message, just to see what's in the energy, what's in the air. Um, let spirit speak through me. Just open my next star one one one. For those that do know me, hey, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, share the video if you know somebody needs to see it. This may resonate with you. It may not. You never know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and tap into this Archangel Michael. I ask that you use me in the highest white light. I ask that you let me give a clear and convincing understanding message to the Aquarius and the collective. Um, please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Answers, Spirit Guides, and the Universe. All right. So I've been gone for two days because I just wanted to see, you know, what the energy is gonna, if it was gonna shift, what was it gonna do. And then a lot of y'all could be dreaming more. A lot of y'all could be clear-headed. A lot of y'all could be confused. A lot of y'all just don't know if they're coming or going. But we're going to tap into this message just to see, you know, what the energy is, what's going on. Um, I feel like sometimes in life, spirit draws a wedge between you um, and a certain person, family member, co-worker or however you whatever resonates that reason being because spirit sees you know you have learned your lesson you have been through what you've been through um spirit didn't want you to go through it but you know sometimes in life people can be a lesson or they can be a blessing all right so return we have return somebody definitely may want a second chance opportunity Somebody definitely could be feeling like they're chasing you or they're going to be chasing you. So you could have separated yourself from somebody. Clarity. You could have separated yourself from somebody. And spirit is wanting me to give you the heads up that this person may um, try to make amends with you. Yep, it could be past life, deja vu, repeated patterns. Um, spirit feels like if you completed the lesson, why would you go back to, you know, doing something else? Your heart chakra could definitely be opening at this time. This person that you was with, they probably closed, and I know it sounds weird me saying this, but they probably closed your heart chakra. And now that you and this person is not together no more, you know, this person could have had you stressing out. You know that you're not together no more. Your, whole, your heart chakra is definitely opening again. Tell me more. Yeah, obsession. Somebody may have an obsession over you. And they're trying to block you from your divine masculine that's coming in um, or divine feminine. This could be family. Some of y'all definitely could have felt um, exhaustion during this connection. This person may feel rejected. Yep, clinging to you because it's like they don't understand. Some people just can't get it. Yeah, it's shocking that you actually walked away. You have only you here. You have second chance. It's like by you walking away from this connection, now this person see that oh i messed up or it could be like some type of phase some type of illusion that this person could be trying to you know put you in yeah use your intuition at this time because this person is definitely getting their karma use your intuition because this person definitely could be getting their karma okay two more one more. Yeah, influences. Lusting and distraction. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. 
The only reason why this person wants you um, to even come back, commitment and hope, hoping, is because of the simple fact they're going through something. They're going through something since you walked away. They really are. They don't know. They really don't. It could be some type of third party involved that you don't even know about. Just could have been there and you just don't know about it. Then spirit came in and was like, I'm going to show you this. We see that your third eye is open. We see that you are using, you know, your clarity or using your intuition or just listening to us. And spirit likes that. Spirit accepts that. Okay, spirit. Spirit said, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now you see here, you got somebody that's going to play you. Five of Swords can't pop out immediately. Um, nine of Cups, which is fulfillment. Because you walked away from the situation of arguing and stress or whatever the case may be, Spirit is getting ready to fulfill your Nine of Cups. But somebody is definitely trying to play you. Three of Wands. Here you are looking ahead. Looking ahead, but don't fall for the illusion. Eight of Swords. Somebody is definitely going to act victimless to you. Somebody definitely is going to act like, you know, I'm sorry. Can we work it out? You know, Capricorn energy. The devil popped out. Codependency. Use your strength at this time. Some of y'all may have Leo in your chart. Stay strong. Definitely stay strong. This nudge that was be this nudge that was drawn in between you and this person. I'm telling you, it's gonna be for the better. Seven of Cups and Empress. I mean, I'm sorry, Two of Cups and Empress energy. There's gonna be a spiritual connection between you and Spirit. There's gonna be another another person that's gonna come in. And if it ain't another person, it could just be self-love. Nine of Pentacles energy. Period. Success and independence. We have five of cups. This person lost you. This person lost you. Your world is getting ready to start over. You are in a, you completed this cycle. You done an achievement. You won an award. So you should feel glad. You surely should. You definitely should feel glad at this time. Night of Wands, this person could have been hot tempered. It's gonna be a fire sign. You had the Three of Swords energy, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Cups celebrations, Page of Swords, and the Three, um, the Three, the I'm sorry, the Three of Swords, Aquarius energies out here. Separation and grief. You may be feeling it. You may reminisce, but just know it was for your better with the Hermit card, Virgo energy. And these are coming out in twos. You have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. You overcame that burden. That last moon that we had, you overcame that burden. The Eight of Wands, you're not looking back. You may not even be communicating at this time. Or is this very short? Yep, you have the Death card. The Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Gratitude is going to be given to you. Some type of support and sharing is going to be given to you. Um, you're choosing a new path, and Spirit is happy for that. Ace of Pentacles is here, too. Some of y'all may be getting some type of financial blessing. On the moon card again. I can't make it up. Ace of Swords and Seven of Wands. Stay on your ground. Some type of clarity and truth was shown to you. And you may have, it may have been shown to you in a dream. It may have been shown to you in a message. It may have been shown to you just, you know, by you sitting here looking for wands. Some type of reunion is definitely coming towards you. Um, somebody that you may have been talking to or, you know, you and this person just went your separate ways. 
But like I said in my last message, somebody is definitely being sent towards you. The universe is definitely blessing you at this time because the universe sees your strength. The universe couldn't sit here and put you with somebody else. And look, this is illusions. The um, universe couldn't put you with somebody else or spirit couldn't put you with somebody else while you were still in that energy. While you were still in that energy, they didn't want to do that. Because then you would have went to the person that was blessed for you and you would have done the same thing. Right? Yeah, silence. You know how they say a person can't argue with themselves? That is so true. Yeah, breakthrough. Aquarius in the collective, you took back control of your life. And a lot of y'all may be feeling peaceful. You really may be feeling peaceful at this time. Slowing down and going with the flow. Now it's like you're putting your life back on track. You could be getting your credit right. You could be going back to school. You could be thinking about a business. You could be doing your creativity side. And you're wondering, like, where am I getting all these ideas? Where am I getting all this energy from? That's because your ancestors and your spirit guides and your angels are all around you. Silence. Yep, because you are privileged. Self-love, putting yourself first. What's control? This person never... Oh, confirmation. My nose is itching. This person never appreciated you. You took back control and spirit is getting ready to bless you. This person may have stole from you, and I'm not talking about, like, you know, of what you had, but if they did, they may have tried to steal your image. They may have tried to steal how you do things. They may have tried to steal, like, have control over you. Harmony. Harmony is poverty. Now you don't have to worry about that no more. Your peace and your sanity. Going with the flow. This person could have wanted you to do everything. Ooh, when I said going with the flow, total labor popped out. You got 11 11 here. 11 11. Slowing down. Look, this person tried to slow you down. This person definitely tried to slow you down. And now they can't do it no more. Now all they do is think about you. Because spirit won't even let this person close to you. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Breakthrough is going to be a new connection. A new reunion. I'm telling you, universe is getting ready to bless you. Spirit is getting ready to bless you. You don't even know it yet. You probably don't even see it. But just know you accomplished it. And you succeeded. You succeeded. You broke this connection. This connection was definitely very toxic. And you broke this connection. The spirit is saying, they're happy. They're definitely happy. Definitely happy. Got rid of that immaturity. That immaturity at this time. Message. Tell me if somebody may be sending you a message. It may be somebody from your past. Maybe somebody new. I'm not sure. But just use your intuition at this time. Aquarius in the collective. Use your intuition. For real. I got here something in the background. My bad. I like to wash in the morning. Some of y'all may like to get up, clean your house. Some of y'all may like to get up, wash clothes. Um, some of y'all may get up and prep your food and cook, but um it's just a beautiful morning. I love this time of the year because the degrees is, you know, cooler. Like it's like 68 here. And I love it. Um, so yeah, let's get some some inspiration cards. Uh oh. Everything's coming out in twos and threes. Alignment and transformation. And some of y'all may see it. Five 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 and one one one. Five 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 and one one one. Some of y'all may see it and some of y'all may not. But it's okay. You learn. You if not, it's not easy for everybody. Some people get the lesson, some people don't. You have clarity here again. You, some people get the lesson and some people don't. 
with shift. So yeah, this was this was meant to happen. They say if it's meant to be, it'll come back. Manifest your dreams at this time. Spirit say it's time to focus on you. Harmony is here and starting over. Spirit is saying it's time to focus on you. Not saying that you let yourself go, but Spirit is just like, you know, we only can do so much. We only can show you the signs. We only can, you you only can um, see your angels talking to you. You know, there's this drink, vitamin water that I tell you I did our drink. And it says, bring the kind of energy infomercial audience are paid to bring. So bring that energy. Stand your ground. Don't let nothing, you know, past life karma. Somebody ain't no karma, let them get it. Creativity, discovery. And leadership for Frank. But you got addictions, compassion, and you got protection is needed. Shields is vital at this time because your real connection is supposed to be coming in. Spirit is trying to protect you from that past life, that addiction, what you was addicted to. Um, you're the same person, like your same type of type that you're going after. after. Um, it's time to shift your energy from that. It's time to change up. It's time to do something different. It's definitely time to do something different. Soul family strength is here. New beginnings is here. And partnerships and support. Love y'all. Stay positive. Stay humble. Stay motivated. Stay focused. All right. And namaste.